Hello everyone and welcome back to the Washington Redskins franchise here on Madden 18 in New York to take on the New York Jets. They are sitting at 4-8 to their playoff hopes and divisional races pretty much over the season. So right now they are just playing spoiler as we are sitting at 9-3 coming off a huge victory now have the division lead outright. So now we're going to just try to continue the winning ways here, keep up with the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, try to get up there with the top spot in the NFC. So that is where the uh, kickoff goes out of bounds, and the Jets offense will come out of the field first. Case Keenum, their new quarterback, 26 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, actually having a very, very good year, um, but not enough to give them a winning record. So on second and one from the 34, he's going to play action there. Keenum's going to look fire back and find Quincy while there up to the 48-yard line. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what type of game this is. Jets are just going to go all out for it and try to uh, come away with a spoiler victory here. And that's going to be intended for the tight end Delaney Walker, but it's going to be incomplete. So now bring up a third and eight here from the 47. Keenum looking back in the pocket, stepping up, going to find T.J. Eldon, the running back, out of the backfield. But he runs out of room. That's actually going to be incomplete. And they will have to punt. So our offense comes on the field. Joe Flacco and company here struggled a little bit last week, but did it just enough to get the victory. And a third and one here, going to find Josh Johnson there for the completion up to the 38-yard line and the first down. So from the 38, first and 10, Flacco dropping back, going to find Odell Beckham Jr. here up to the 48-yard line. Obviously in the stadium in the uh, against the Giants previously have the four touchdowns so he has a lot of luck in the stadium and knows how to play here so third and 13 Flacco stepping up in the pocket and he's going to find Paul Richardson there for the completion breaks off the tackle and he's up to the 23 yard line for the first down so all the receivers here getting involved in this first drive so from the 23 first and 10 it's going to hand off to Gandy and he's not going to go anywhere really the Jets do have a pretty good up front four up top to stop the run so really important first drive here for this offense. Would like to get a touchdown because if we could put this team uh, down early, maybe we could just put them away right away. As Flacco on a third and seven is going to move in the pocket. He's going to find Antoine Flowers for the touchdown. So nice play. This uh, young receiver just comes up in big moments. Doesn't play a whole lot, but you can see Flacco sees the blitz, moves in the pocket, out of the pocket. Nice throw on the run. And then Flowers just using his big body, his size, to break off the tackle and get in for the score. His second touchdown of the year, giving us a 7-0 lead. That's exactly what I wanted. A, a quick start here to try to put this Jets team away uh, quickly. So first and 10 for this offense. Jets back on the field. TJ yelling and going nowhere. Ryan Chazier there for the tackle. So brings up a third and eight. Keenum in the gun. He is looking. Stepping up the pocket. Can't find anybody. He's going to roll out. Take this one himself. Ryan Anderson is there for the stop. And he is going to be just short. So a three and out here. Get a punt. Get the offense back on the field. So offense back on the field here. Second and seven. Nice blitz, blitz pickup by the guard there. Coming off his man. And then Flacco finding Paul Richardson up to the 49-yard line. Gain of 25. If it wasn't for that pickup there, I think Flacco would have been sacked for sure. So third and seven from the 46. Flack in the pocket. Has some time. Can't find anybody rolling out. Just going to try to find Gandy there. But he can, cannot come down with the kind of a dangerous pass. Laying out your receiver like that. But incomplete. And the Jets force a punt. So back on the uh, defensive side of our defense. And there you go. Getting the sack. Kafusi, Jonathan Allen there. Not falling for that play action. Knocking back Keenan there to the 11-yard line. So now a third and 19. And Keenum's going to just not have any room as Kafusi again using his strength, getting blocked, pulling him down with one arm, gets the other sack, and we get another three and out here. So we'll start with good field position from the 45. Here's Gandy. Has got anything going, really, and a nice juke move and cut back there. You see nothing really on that stretch run, but he cuts it back, picks up good yardage. So now into the second quarter, second and five. Flacco's going to dump this one off to O.J. Howard. And he will get the first down up to the 17-yard line. Gain of 11. So from the 17, we're going to pitch it here. And this is going to be Fisher Reeves now with the carry. And he gets a good gain there up to the 11. But he goes down holding, I don't know, lower back. I'm not sure. But he is in some big-time pain there. And we'll have to check on him later to see what happens there. So third and four, Flacco from the 11 looking. Going to find Odell Beckham Jr. there for the first down up to the four-yard line. 
So that Fisher Reeves injury is going to knock us back just to two running backs in this game. We've had some problems with running back depth, that's for sure. And first and goal, Frederick Candy. The ball is loose. Nick Boyle is there. He picks it up. And what a way to get our second touchdown there. Wow. Uh, Gandy, I thought he was going to get in there, made a spin move, gets hit hard, fumbles it, and but still Boyle there to pick it up and score. And you see a dislocated hit for Fisher Reeves. Wow, that is a big-time injury. I would think he's probably done for the rest of the year for sure. So back on the defensive side of the ball, a third and seven for this Jets team going to Jarek McKinnon. And he cannot pick it up. What a tackle there by DJ Swearinger and company. And you see in the previous play, Josh Norman goes out with a Bruce Sternum. So he'll be done for this game as well. So that knocks our secondary depth down a little bit. So third and three, back on the offensive side of the ball. Gandy there with the carry. Will just pick up the first down up to the 30-yard line. So from the 30-yard line, first and 10, play action, Flacco. He's dropping back in the pocket, going up top for Josh Johnson, 101. But it's going to be intercepted, picked off there by McClam. And that is going to give the uh, Jets some uh, momentum swing here, try to get something going because their offense hasn't been able to get anything at all in this game. Down 14 nothing. So second and 11 from the 27. Keenum going up top, has an open man, and that's going to be green. For the catch up to the 45-yard line. So finally this Jets offense getting something. Second and 10 from the 45. Going to hand this one off to TJ Yeldon. That's his best run of the game. A gain of five. That'll tell you something. He only has five rushes for eight yards. So third and five here from the 50. 7.33 left in this first half. Keenum dropping back looking. And he's going to find his man wide open down the field. That's going to be Stewart up to, uh, and we got a flag as well. So we'll see what this flag is, see if this play holds up. And it's actually going to be a face mask. So at half the distance to the goal there for New York, and they're down to the 11-yard line. So second and five from the six. This is going to be Jarek McKinnon in the game. Brought down there by Tim Williams, and he's down to the three. Third and two. Can this Jets offense finally put some points on the board? Looking, and that's going to be Stewart wide open there in the zone for the score. So the Jets take advantage of that interception, turn it around, get seven out of it, and now we have back to a one possession ball game. So offense back on the field, first and ten, and we got a screen pass to Chris Thompson. He's got plenty of room to run, makes a juke move, finally brought down, but a great gain up to the 49-yard line. And now, obviously, with uh, Fisher Reeves out, for sure, Chris Thompson's going to get a lot more as we're only down to two running backs. Second and eight. Flacco going to find O.J. Howard across the middle. Easily picks up the first down. Down to the 38-yard line. So we have four minutes left in this first half. First and ten now. Black is going to hand off to Gandy, and he's got a cutback. Nice cutback. Has plenty of room to run, and he is down inside the red zone to the 17-yard line. So make that a gain of 22 and uh, puts us in prime position here to get that touchdown back. First and 10, handoff to Chris Thompson. He has plenty of blockers, and he is going to stumble his way into the end zone for the score. So we get that touchdown right back, and now we take it back up to two-possession lead, up 21-7 to with 3.31 left in this first half. So the Jets, third and three from the 31, and that's a big-time play to Stewart, who's been the main man for Case Keenum in this game. 25 yards, that'll take us to the two-minute warning. So from the 44-yard line, first and 10. Keenum, plenty of time in the pocket. Going to dump this one off. Nice move there by the receiver, and that's going to be down to the 34-yard line. See if they give him the first down. Yes, they do. So first down, New York. First and 10 from the 34. Keenum, across the middle. Going to find Delaney Walker there for the first down at the 19th. So this Jets offense has finally found something here in this second quarter. Second and ten. Keenum stepping up. Had plenty of time once again. Going to the back of the end zone. Delaney Walker left wide open. And that's a touchdown, New York. So a not being able to get pressure. Keenum is just sitting back in the pocket doing whatever he wants. This time finding a wide open Delaney Walker and busted coverage. And this is a 21-14 ball game here with 110 left in this first half. So see what our offense can do. Flack is going to find Gandy across the middle. And he is up to the 41 for a completion there. So now third and four, 33 seconds left. We still have two timeouts. Flacco, and that's going to be caught there by Paul Richardson. He'll pick up the first down and will use a timeout. So first and 10, Flacco looking. And he's going to have an inaccurate pass, and that's going to be picked off. And there's going to be nobody in front of the 
Uh, Jet Defender there. He's going to take this one in easily. And just like that, unbelievable. We have a tie ball game here in New York. 21 all. Unbelievable going into the halftime. Up 14 nothing. I did not expect this at all. All of a sudden, the Jets' offense just uh, took off after that turnover and takes advantage, getting two touchdowns and then the pick there at the end. So uh, we have some work to do here going into the second half. Never thought I would say that, but uh, yeah. T tied up at 21, and we'll see what we can do here going into the second half and try to uh, play better football now. First and 10. We have the ball back on the offensive side to start. Gandy with the carry, and that's a nice carry to start off the half there. Gain of 15 up to the 40-yard line. Having a pretty good game, actually. 76 yards, only 11 carries. So starting off a little slow, but looking better now. Second and six. Flacco going to go uh, to the uh, outside there, finding Paul Richardson. Hard hit. Coach helps him up there, but he picks up the first down up to the 48-yard line. Richardson having a pretty nice game as well. First and ten. Flacco looking, stepping up in the pocket, and he's going to dump this one off to Beckham. He separates the tackle, gets hit very hard, and Joe Flacco is going to pick this one up, just dive there. So uh, having some fumble problems here. But luckily, we are all over this. Flacco there picks it up for the first down. Now, second and seven. Joe's going to go back to Josh Dotson there, up to the 23. So this will bring up a third and one now from the 23. We'll hand off to Gandy. He goes up the middle, breaks through a tackle, finally brought down at the 15. But another first down. So good, solid drive here coming out of the half after that pick six. First and ten. Flacco going up for Odell Beckham Jr., and he comes down with it. So Flacco, who absolutely got drilled, just getting rid of it in time, finds Beckham Jr. for the score to put us back up 28-21 to now in the third quarter. So let's see what our defense can do. The last two drives have not been pretty for our defense, allowing big-time plays, and it starts up again. Delaney Walker there for the catch. He's up to the 40-yard line. We got to get some pressure there in case Keenum cannot let him just sit back in the pocket. As you see, the Jets kind of just abandon the run since they haven't been able to get anything. So Keenum can't find anybody. Pressure does get around there, but still, he will pick up yardage up to the 46, but it doesn't matter. That was third down. So the uh, we get the punt, and now back on the offensive side of the ball. First and 10, Gandy with a good carry up to the 31 yard line. Second and eight, Flacco back to throw. And he's going to find that's going to be Dotson across the middle up to the 44. Important drive for this offense again. If we can put it back up two scores, uh, that'll give us a little bit of breathing room now. First and 10 from the 44. Flacco going to have to step up in the pocket. Can't find anybody. He's just going to take this one himself. And he is absolutely ripped down by the face mask. Wow. Yeah, that's a personal foul, no doubt. Bruce Irvin just ripping Flacco. Almost his head off there. We'll pick up the 15. And that'll move us up to the 39-yard line. So back on the carry is Gandy. And he has some good blocking. He's off to the races with that speed. Makes a nice juke move. Finally, Jamal Adams is there to bring him down. But still, that's a 30-yard run there. And now we are down to the 9. So after a uh, penalty there, bet knock us back. Second and goal. Flacco looking. He's going to find Josh Dotson there. He has a blocker as well. The ball is loose. And luckily, he picks it right back up. So third and goal, Flacco going to find Beckham Jr. for the score, his second of the game, sixth touchdown in this stadium this year as an opponent. And now we take a two-possession lead once again, 35-21, to with 2.26 left in this third quarter. So Jets back on the ball, second and six, going to find Quincy new on there across the middle, just wide open. He's up to the 48-yard line for that first down. So from the 40, at second and 10, they're going to go to TJ Yeldon, and he is going absolutely nowhere. Only has 16 yards on the ground on 10 carries so far in this game. So bringing up a third and eight. Keenum looking, and finally we get some more pressure there for the sack. That's Carl Lawson there getting some heat, and we stop the Jets once again, so maybe our defense has found something stepping up here, looking good in this second half. So back on the offense, second and four. Chris Thompson with the carry. He picks up the first down to the 32 as we're in the fourth quarter now. So let's see if we can put this team away, get the victory here, and uh, see where we are in the division, if we can clinch or not. Second 11, Flacco gets away from the sack. He is trying to find somebody in a dangerous throw, but O.J. Howard is there. That's something you just don't want to do all the time. Wow, 
Pays off, though, for the completion and the first down and up to the 50-yard uh, line. Now second and eight from the 48. Flacco looking, can't find anybody, and he just holds on to a too long. Leonard Williams is there for the sack, knocking us back to the 40-yard line. So third and 20. Just want to be uh, careful with this ball here, but Flacco's going deep for Flowers, and it looks like we might get a, a break here. Looks like he was interfered with. And that's exactly what the call is. Pass interference. Get the first down. And we will take it on a third and 20. So first and 10. Now Gandy with the ball. And he's using that speed. See you later. He gets the touchdown. And now we've pretty much taken control of this game. Now a 42-21 to 21 game here in New York. So the Jets really need something here on this drive. First and 10. Just going to dump this one off, and that's going nowhere there. No gain at all for the uh, Jets on that play. So now second and 11 from the 24. Keenum looking, and we'll find something there. That's going to be a first down up to the 35-yard line. Just getting enough for the first there. So second and 10 now from the 35. Keenum looking. Once again, has plenty of time in the pocket, and he's going to force this one to Jabari Nyrath. Comes down with the interception at the 42-yard line. Nice play by the rookie. He's been uh, actually pretty good this whole year as our nickelback. Comes down with the play there. And now our offense has a chance to take this one away. As you see, using the power is Gandy. And then using the speed, what a run. Down to the 29-yard line. Looked like he was going to be stopped in the backfield. Breaks out of it and then just runs away from everybody. Over 188 yards rushing now for him. And now Chris Thompson with a big first down down to the 17. So I think we're pretty much pulling away from the Jets here in this ball game. Now just running all over. First and 10 from the 17. Chris Thompson. And he is getting a little fancy with it. Fumbles the ball. I don't know what he's doing there. Luckily, uh, it was fumbled out of bounds and not out of the end zone. So after two failed runs of first and second goal, now third and goal. Flacco looking, can't really find anybody there. Just going to take the sack. Leonard Williams again, back to the six. So we kick a field goal, but now it's a 45 to 21 game with just four minutes left. So I pretty much, pretty much got this one in the back here. Just going to probably try to shut this one away. Finding Delaney Walker as Case Keenum for the first down up to the 47 yard line. So they're just gonna, not going to go away. They're going to try everything here to get everything in a Stewart there with the reception. And look at him just spinning all day up to the 38-yard line. He's had a really good game. Uh, the best receiver so far for the Jets in this game. So a third and 10 now from the 38. Keenum looking, trying to find something. And Lawson is there for the sack. Gets the fumble. And it's back to the 46-yard line. And uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do. They're just going to actually punt this ball away here. And this one's going to be popped up in the air. And this one's going to be off the... Oh, wow. So he can't come down with it. The Jets get the recovery. So they get the ball right back. So second and four from the 27. Going up top. And that's going to be way out of bounds. Incomplete. So this will bring up a third and four here. Keenum looking. And that's going to be way inaccurate. Intended for his receiver, Stewart. And they're just going to decide to kick a field goal here just to uh, pad, I guess, their points there. And that's going to be up and good, making it 45-24. And that would be the final there. So uh, interesting first half there, tied up at 21. But in the second half, our defense came through, and so did our offense, just pulling away from a team that's really not that great. Now at 4-9 with the Jets. But we're at 10-3 now. You see Flacco. Um, I say the one pick, not really his fault, going up the dots in one-on-one, -on -one, but that second one, definitely inaccurate, but it still came away with a great game. Three touchdowns, looking good. As you see, Frederick Gandy just absolutely dynamite in this game. Same with Chris Thompson. We ran all over this Jets team, something I didn't think we were going to be able to do, but we definitely did. Uh, Beckham Jr. with the two touchdowns. All the receivers solid in this game. Um, that's what make this, makes this offense really good. Just so many guys we can go to. Even Anton Flowers, our uh, fourth or fifth receiver, he is good enough to get the job done. Defense struggled a little bit there in that second quarter, but in the uh, second half on, uh, absolutely shutting him down. See Case Keenum there. Two touchdowns, the one interception, the running game for the Jets. Couldn't do anything. I think they just went away with it and didn't even try. 
uh, in the second half as he yelled at only 16 yards there and really couldn't get anything going. Um, Delaney Walker and uh, Stewart, though, in the good game. Darius Stewart, four catches, 71 yards, didn't have that touchdown. And on the defense side of the ball, really it was uh, just coverage sacks. Jamal Adams was all over the place with a 13 tackle. The winner Williams with the three sacks. So we get the victory. We head to 10 and three. And you see Fisher Reese before we start. He is out for seven weeks. So uh, we're definitely going to put him on IR. And we'll have to find another running back before Samaji Piran comes back. And I think we're going to go to our practice squad, Parker LaFedge. Uh, we'll bring him up from the practice squad. He'll be at number three. So, 10 and 3. Another good news out of this week Philadelphia loses. So they drop back to 8 and 5. So, with that, if we get a victory next week and Philadelphia loses, we win the division. And as we head to that next week, we'll play Minnesota. They are 8 and 4 and 1. They are battling for a playoff spot as well, right behind the Packers and actually sitting in the wild card. So a big game from them as well. So that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Uh, we'll have a big game in Week 15 against Minnesota. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. If you please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.